Bonjour, welcome. Today I'm coming at you with a July favourites because it has reached the end of July. I've actually got quite a lot of stuff this month, so you know, I'm feeling the vibes. I'm gonna start off with makeup, skincare, and then go into kind of body care, random stuff like that. So I've got lots in store for you, so do stay tuned for all the different categories that I'm gonna go through as I usually do. Got a good, you know, set of favourites this month, so I'm very, very happy. Remember to give the video a thumbs up if you do actually like it, so that will let me know if you do like these videos or not. And subscribe if you're not subscribed already, which if you're not, do subscribe, of course. You know, welcome to the channel. I'm a friendly person most of the time, all the time. So, we are going to start off with makeup. So, to begin us off with, the products that I've really been quite loving this month is the Nivea Daily Essentials 24 Hour Moisture and Soft Tint. So basically, this is a tinted moisturizer. It's got a SPF 15 in it and it is in the shade light. So they don't have, you know, a wide shade range. It's basically just as good as your, you know, your everyday foundation. Like I really do think that this gives great coverage, enough coverage, you know, to be a foundation. I would say it's a medium coverage, but even you know could be full you know so a medium to full coverage tinted moisturizer i think is amazing so if you you know whenever you think of a tinted moisturizer you think something that's very light coverage that barely covers but actually if you're after something that's very moisturizing but also covers really really well then this is a great one to go for i do have to mix it with my mua makeup academy lightning drops custom lightning drops because this is a little bit too dark for me so if you you know have any kind of foundation or anything that is too dark for you just use this and you can lighten it up so yeah been really loving using this and yeah, it does look like a normal foundation, so I would recommend it. I've also really liked this mascara. This one is the Rimmel Scandalized Wow Wings Mascara. I got sent this in my Vox box. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. It's my um, unboxing my Rimmel Vox box from Influencer. And at first I was like, oh, you know, this is a little bit clumpy, a little bit kind of I don't know, like a lot of product gets transferred onto your eyelashes, but I actually really, really quite like that. Now I've got used to that fact and it's just quick and easy. When a mascara transfers a lot of product onto your eyelashes straight away, it just means that you get your eyelashes done really, really, really quickly. So why would you not like that? So that's what I like about this. It's quick, it's easy, it gives a lot of length and volume very, very fast. I also, in these monthly favourite videos, want to kind of talk about what my favourite palette of that month is or what's kind of my most used palette. I am going to be repeating myself quite a lot throughout the months, um, but each month I do tend to gravitate towards one particular palette. So yes, I have mentioned this before, so I'm not going to ramble on, but I have been loving it. So it is the Soph X Revolution Eyeshadow Palette this month and the reason why I've been using this the most is because I have got a load of shades here to play with and because there's so many different colours it means that there's you know so many different eye looks you can do which is why I've been using it quite a lot since I got this and look at that like I've, I, I've used all of these shades now I'm the kind of person that loves to experiment with eyeshadow and try out different shades and things like that so this palette is great for that and I would highly recommend it for a tenor, so that's the great one and I've been using that this month. Now for skincare, this is from The Ordinary. Sorry, my face is red again. Oh, I'm having some problems. Um, this is from The Ordinary and it is 100% plant-derived squalene. And it's pure squalene for surface hydration. Now, my auntie Jen did actually give this to my mum to give to me. I don't think it reacted well with her skin. I'm not sure if it gave her spots or something like that. I thought I would give this a go and see how it works with my skin. I actually put this on in the morning. So I moisturise in the morning and then I put a little bit of this on. Not too, too much. Um, but it does give a lot of hydration. And I put it on before my makeup because it makes my makeup go on so much nicer. It's like a great kind of, almost like a primer in a way. Um, but it just makes my skin really soft. I do have oily skin and you would think why would I put this on if I have oily skin because it does almost make my skin feel even oilier but you've got to let it sink in and then go in with the makeup and it's absolutely fine if anything it's done wonders for my skin it's not made it worse at all my skin's actually got a lot better I don't know if it's down to this product particularly but it could be so I'm not going to say it is because I'm not sure but it could be but my skin has cleared up a lot but it hasn't done any worse so this is um from the ordinary they're a great you know 
brand. They do really cheap skincare products, so go and check them out if you want to. And then next up in terms of skincare, it is this body butter, Zoella body butter, snow smooth. So this was part of her kind of winter range. So you might not be able to pick this up now. In fact, I doubt it. But this is actually meant for your body, obviously, because it's a body butter. But I have been using this as a moisturiser on my face in the evening. It's a lot thicker than your normal moisturiser. But when I put it on, I look forward to putting this on because it's very... Well, obviously moisturising, but it, you know, it feels very soft and luxurious to put on. And when I wake up in the morning, my skin's very plump and also, you know, quite clear of spots. I'm not saying this clears spots, but I'm just saying it kind of plumps up your face, makes your skin very, very soft. And I love using this rather than my other moisturiser. I just think it's a little bit more thicker and it just does, um, I don't know, a bit more for your skin. Hang on, just getting my lip product. Come to judge me. Come to judge me. Oh no, don't go. Oh, the lid fell. <laughs> I do have quite a lot of random poo in this video, but what can you do? Where's the lid gone? Okay, I'll find that in the year. Now it's for kind of body care kind of thing, category whatever you want to call it. The first thing is this little body spray here from So. It is in the shape, in the shade, in the scent Ibiza Dreams. It's a body mist. This was half price from six pounds to three pounds. And I was like, hell yeah, like three pounds for this. It's a really, really decent price. This is going to last me absolutely, I'd say this will last me about six, seven months. It smells really, really nice. I've got it on today because obviously, you know, I've been wearing this every single day. I love their body mists and yeah i've just really liked this one because i purchased it have i did i put this in last month's favorites flipping hope i didn't i don't think i did i kind of feel like i did or maybe i put a different one in but this is my new one also on the theme of something that sprays i have this skinny dip um shimmering body mist this is like a spray on mist for your body i love to use this on my body because i basically spray it on my arms and kind of on my neck area and it has so much glitter in it and when in the light when your arm catches the light it just shimmers so so nicely and you can just see all the little bits of glitter and it looks really really nice my friend leanne did actually get me this for my birthday and now it's in summer i'm using it all the goddamn time like it's honestly amazing and you know there's still so much product left in here so it's definitely worth a good go to get something you know like this and also what i've been using on my body is this kind of sun kiss metallic bronze uh bronzer from primark i bought this years ago but what i do is i get my bronzer brush like this and i just kind of swirl it in there and i just kind of put it a little bit on my neck i'll demonstrate how it works now because i don't have it on now but you kind of get a little bit of that and then you kind of just add a little bit to your neck and it just kind of bronzes it up I don't want to add too much because I, you know, I can't really see what I'm doing, but it just kind of adds that little bit of a bronze that you didn't have before and it just makes you look a little bit more tanned as you can probably see. So I've loved using this and I went to my friend Jordan's house for a party with my friends and Steph was like, oh Georgie, have you tanned your legs? And I was like, no, I use this. I literally just put this on my brush and just brushed it around my legs and it looked like I've tanned them. So that's good didn't have to use fake tan so that's a really great product for that or you could obviously just use a bronzer but this is very highly pigmented which is why it works well also lush love lush whenever i go into lush i'm like oh yeah i'll try something new never do i always get the same old comforter bubble bar this just smells amazing it smells like a bath because all of my baths have got this in it. I managed to let this bubble bar spread out, I would say eight, seven or eight baths, because I just, you know, you don't need to use that much of it. Um, but yeah, I love it. It just makes my bath pink, it makes it bubbly, and it smells really, really nice. I think I've put this probably in about three or four favorites videos before, but I've been using it a lot this month, so what can you do? You can include it in a video and that's what I'm doing. Okay, now on to the random category. Here is some kind of more random bits and bobs. Just before I forget, um, these headphones. I got sent these headphones from the band, band, from the brand studio. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below for you to go and watch and obviously check it out. They gave me these. I do have a discount code and it's Georgiecar15 for 15% off. So go and use it if you'd like to. 
but this is what they look like. They're absolutely amazing quality. The sound quality is also amazing, which I was very impressed with. They're comfortable, they're wireless, and I've been obsessed with them. So yeah, love these, and that's just a favorite of the month. I won't talk about them too much because obviously I waffled on in that video. I then also got this. Oh, hello, Tommy, I'm just finishing up. I'm nearly done. Yeet. Yeet. Got this mug from Tesco. The first time I went in, I saw this, and there's something about this mug that I just love. I don't know why, I just saw it and I thought, I love this mug, but I didn't buy it. It was £1.95. I didn't buy it because I thought, you know, Georgie, you've got about a thousand mugs in the, in the cupboard, why would you get any more? But then every time I went in, I kept looking at it and I was like, what is so special about this mug? I still don't know to this day, but I did buy it and I just like to put a drink in it. I get excited to have my cup of tea in this mug. And I could not tell you why, I really can't, because I'm quite strange, but it's a good mug, so it has to make it into this favourites, but I can't really tell you why. So that's what it looks like, just as a bit of a close-up. Also, this candle here, this is a Yankee candle. This is the Yankee Candle Christmas Cookie. I've had this for nearly two years. Aubrey got it for me for one Christmas, I think, a couple of years ago, and it's still going strong. It burns really, really well. If you're going to get Yankee candles, get the original Yankee candles like this one, not the home essentials range because they don't burn well at all. But these do. They burn all the way to the edge and they last so, so long. The scent remains for years, obviously, because I can already still smell it. This one in particular reminds me of just Christmas. It reminds me of just nice times. Every time I have a bath, I like this. And I'm not lying, I've used this every single week, every time I have a bath for two years. And it's still going strong. So the quality of these candles are 100% worth the money. If you wanna go and spend extra, spend extra on a Yankee candle. Then for fashion, I thought I'd just throw a fashion favorite in there. This isn't really a fashion piece, but these are some Love Island shorts from Primark. Um, they're not exactly a favourite because of Love Island, but they're a favourite because I, they're just so easy to throw on. Me and my friends have got matching ones of these because we bought matching ones when we went on holiday to Bridlington. If you haven't seen those vlogs, go and check them out. I'll link them down below or I'll link the playlist. Um, but yeah, they're just so comfortable to just throw on around the house. And people are always like, well, Georgie, you never get your legs out. Why don't you get your legs out? Or why do you always wear tights um, instead of just bare legs? It's because I always never shave. But this year I shaved and I've remained shaved. So therefore I'm happy to wear these. Now food favorite, we're nearly done here. Hello. Um, it's spaghetti, I love spaghetti. It's just- it's mine. What, no, and mine. It's in my jaw. That's not your jaw. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. not. It's my pasta jaw. No, it isn't, it's mine. It is. Anyway, spaghetti. Love spaghetti. It's like my favourite food ever. Carbonara is great. And in my household, we've been eating a lot of spaghetti. I don't really know why, but we just have. And it's just something I love. And I wanted to mention it because I've been eating so much of it recently and I just thought it was worth a mention. So there we go. TV programme favourite is Love Island. I never thought I would get into it because... You know, it's just Love Island. It's just a very fake show. Even like now I watch it and I do enjoy watching it. You can see how quite fake it is. And you know, it, you know, it's not the greatest in that respect, but it is still very entertaining to watch. And that, you know, there is some real aspects to it, but it is entertaining to watch. And I do look forward to watching it every single evening. So I never thought I would get into it, but I did. So I'm happy I've been watching that. Um, in terms of YouTubers, I've not started watching anyone really new, so um, if you want to see kind of who my favourite YouTubers are at the minute, then you can go and check out my June favourites, which I'll also link down below, um, because I link down the people that I've been watching a lot in that video, so you can go and check that out. But that's pretty much it for this month, so thanks for watching. I always love filming these videos because it's just very chatty going through some of my favourites, and I do hope you enjoyed. So give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.